Hola, Ecuador. Soy Eva. Eh, soy de Suecia, pero vivo en Estados Unidos. Estoy muy contigo esta, estar aquí contigo. Mi español. Ok. Do you know that more people die of suicide than of war? Do you know that the fear that's most prevalent to us humans is the fear of extin extinction, to not exist any longer? Very closely connected also to the fear of the unknown. Do you also know that the identity that we are so strongly identified with is not real. What you think you are did not even exist when you came into this world. When I was 21, I had achieved everything I had been told I needed to achieve in order to be happy, but I was miserable. This world did not make sense to me at all. The corruption, the wars, the insanity of us humans. I did not want to be here. I was one of those that often thought about finding a way of getting out of here. And then I would judge myself for not even having the guts to do that. But I, and I was successful, making money, traveling the world. I was in the computer business. Anyone who saw me would have seen a confident, strong, successful woman. But inside, not so much. Then one day, something extraordinary happened. For fun, I used to skydive. I did around 200 jumps total. And around my 100th jump, I had to um, pull my parachute, my reserve parachute. And it failed which means there's nothing to save my life, and I'm literally falling to my death. And the terror I experienced in that moment, there's, there's really no word. I had experienced fear before, but nothing like this. When your body knows it's gonna die, it's a different kind of fear. It's not the fear created by the stories of the mind, it's the body's fear of extinction, and that's terrifying. There's no space for thinking, reasoning, nothing. There's just fear. And then, miraculously, it just shifted. And what I experienced instead, there's really no words for. The closest I can come to is grace, or maybe acceptance. Maybe surrender, but it's not a great word. The fear just disappeared, and I was at complete peace. I was still falling to my death, but that was irrelevant. I went beyond being this body and this persona called Eva. I got to experience what we all truly are beyond body and mind, the essence of our being. I was that and I was aware of it. And it was exquisite, everything was irrelevant. I was perfectly fine, even with knowing I was about to die. The rest of the story is a long story, and miraculously I survived. I'm here. That will not fit in nine minutes. But I learned something tremendous that day, that I am not my body, I'm not my mind. And I got to experience that place of being. And I also saw this thing happen in the plane on the way up. I had like a vision before it happened. And I had to make a choice in that vision, live or die. And I chose to live and I did survive. And in my way of interpreting this life event, I chose to see it as not an accident, not something that happened to me, but a sophisticated suicide attempt. I did not want to live at all. And life gave me the gift of a choice. Okay, you say you don't want to live. Go ahead. Here's your way out. And when I had that way out, I realized, no, 
I am life. I so want to live. And I, I just knew I'm, I'm alive, but I'm not living my life. I was so victimized by life and feeling powerless and telling this story of how miserable I was and how terrible the world was and the disruption and distortion and all the stuff that's going on. That was what my mind was occupied with. And when I had this incredible opportunity to see what I was doing, like, oh my God, I'm wasting my life. And I, I made that choice. Yes, I want to live. And I want to live with all my power, fully alive and sharing my joy, not my misery. It made me miserable, but it also made everyone around me miserable. So I chose to tell the story that this was a gift, that I had created this as a sophisticated suicide attempt where I could make a new choice for myself and empower myself. I had made the ultimate choice, life or death, and I chose life. And by seeing it that way and telling myself that story, my life changed. My life changed that day, fully and completely. And I became so aware that I'm not my body, I'm not my mind. I am this essence far greater than that. And my life became a, a quest of finding how can I live from that place, that place, that essence. And I'll be sharing a lot of that in the next workshop tomorrow. But just being aware that my personality is like a filter that sits in between me and my life experience. This accident happened, I could have chosen to see it as an accident. My filter, my belief system definitely told me that, but I chose something else. And it changed everything. Nothing outside of me changed. My life was still the same. I smacked into the ground, I had to go back to my life, and that was completely the same. Nothing had changed. Something had changed inside, my filter was changed, I viewed it differently, and everything was different, even though nothing had changed on the outside. My life changed in those 60 seconds. And my whole future, my life since that moment has been about being able to do that in every moment of my life and share it with others, because it is possible. I did not want to live, and now I love my life. It's so beautiful to be here. <laughs>